today, today we're going to think small. Audio file gear can be big, it can be bulky, it can be expensive. No, not that this time. Today I'm going to talk about bona fide audio file uh, grade a headphone amp slash digital converter and it fits in my pocket. And here it is. It is the new AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt. And uh, this is killer. Now this follows on the heels a few years ago of the Dragonfly Red. And actually the new one is slightly smaller, but it also sounds a lot better. Before I go any further, I don't usually say this in the beginning, but you can follow me on Twitter at Audiophiliac Man. So, and I talk about stuff other than the, the things on the YouTube channel and the CNET blog. I talk about all kinds of things there. So, follow me on Twitter. That would be a good idea. And it's free. So, what can I tell you? So, the, the Cobalt is a new DAC chip. It has a new power supply, it has a quieter power supply, it has a new microcontroller, and just magic. It has some kind of magic that the designer, Gordon Rankin, just put inside that little thing. And there I am comparing the red and the black on my phone, on my iPhone, iPhone 8. And to do that, you need to buy this uh, dopey thing that Apple sells called the camera adapter. I should change the name of this thing, but it's camera adapter. If you're using an Android phone, you don't need to buy an adapter. The adapter, the USB-C, comes with the Cobalt. So you can use it on your phone. You can use it on your Android phone. You can use it on an iPhone. And you know, this is the, the really amazing thing, is that you can hear true high res 9624 files if you're a title subscriber over your iPhone. I don't think this has ever happened before unless you use some kind of app, right, to get high res music on an iPhone. And I'm sitting there listening to this thing with my iPhone 8 title in MQA, not the biggest supporter, but in, in terms of getting the job done, getting high res on a phone, yes, oh man. I was playing this Fellini album and it's a newly recorded piece of uh, scores, music from Fellini movies written by Nina Rota. And the recording is beautiful, stunning. And I'm listening to it on my iPhone. I'm listening initially with um, my Abyss Diana Phi. And here I am listening with a $4,000 headphone, a hard to drive headphone. And the little, tiny little cobalt, definitely no problem. <laughs> definitely had enough juice to make the Dianas light up. And listening to this Fellini score record in high res. Wow, that was absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm listening to a $4,000 headphone, but I'm listening to a $4,000 headphone with my, <laughs> with my phone and the cold block. So I used other headphones. I also used uh, Sennheiser Momentums. I used the $250 FIO FH5 in-ear headphones. Great headphones for, I think, $250. So I'm, I'm trying all these headphones really really good now you can use the cobalt or the red or the, the the original black the audio quest black in a few different ways you can use it as i just described with a phone or you can use it on your desktop uh, again driving headphones or you can use it on your desktop driving powered speakers like audio engines or i use atom audio f5s or you can use some cantos any any desktop powered speaker you can play it and use uh, the Cobalt as a DAC and a controller for the speakers. Now you have to you control, in other words, you control the volume from your computer. And uh, I used it all three ways and it was, it was really, really stunning. But it didn't take a lot of comparisons going back and forth between the Red and the Cobalt to hear that the Cobalt was in every way a better sounding DAC and slash headphone amplifier. It was just, first of all, it sounded way more powerful. And I don't mean that it played louder. I meant that it had more guts to the sound. It had more weight. It had more solidity. And, and the top end was sweeter. Like when I went back, when I was listening to this Fellini thing, when I went back to the red, the red sounded, the treble sounded a little grainy, a little uptight. Go to the cobalt. It just 
eased out, it sounded sweeter, more detailed, airier. Imaging was a little bigger, a little more around my head kind of imaging. Really, it's not a subtle difference. It's amazing that in 2019 you can hear something this good, so easy to use. It actually has no controls whatsoever on it. There's nothing to fiddle with. As I said, the volume control is on your computer. This is, this is pretty impressive. I mean, it kind of makes the whole using separate, you know, higher end uh, portable music players like Astel Kearns a little less essential because first of all, you have to be carrying another thing, meaning your phone and the Astel and Kern. Here you can have music in your phone that's brought up in quality. It could drive high-end headphones like the Abyss Diana Phi, no problem. This is, this is stunning. 2019 has been good for sound. So if I piqued your interest in it, go for it. If $300 is, is, is pushing it for you budget-wise, check out the RED. It was definitely my reference for a long time for that type of device, small, portable. High-res uh, also uh, goes up to 96, 24. And uh, I think we're good. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac daily show and it does come up daily so if you're in the uh, mood and you want to watch some audiophile oriented videos this is the place to go if you like these videos please give them a thumbs up and uh, share them like them do all that social media stuff if you've gotten this far into the video please by all means check out the patreon patreon can be found at p-a-t R-E-O-N dot com slash audiophiliac. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.